got the EP right here, the Meltdown EP, Singles Freak Out, and used to be by this man right here, Frozen. This man's about to go ahead and make it this brand in this bitch. Spits on fire, damn it. Young Frozen. BrainTrackMusic.com. Shit on MC, so often you think and they're growing accustomed. The I'm back in stems of fun in the research to grow my pair of nuts, cause I ain't got the balls to speak first. Fuck you. <laughs> That's all y'all need. Brandtracksmusic.com, the meltdown. Pick us up a copy. Get that copy. Don't sleep on that shit. Brandtracksmusic.com. <laughs> What's up, people? How is it going? We're back again for another segment of Brain Tracks Music TV on the YouTube. Alright, today we are here with Mr. Frozen. But before we get to that, boom. The Meltdown EP sampler is now available on BrainTracksMusic.com. That's tracks with an X. iTunes, the Amazon MP3. Used to be and freak out the singles. Go cop it, check it out, love it, and spread the word, damn it. Alright, so straight to it. Mr. Frozen. This is my younger brother right here, by the way. Alright, this man went from a curious little brother to a lyricist, artist, flash forward, engineer, producer, songwriter, the works. I'm gonna let this man tell you about himself, damn it. Frozen, tell us about yourself. Well, I mean, started off in middle school just writing my little lyrics or whatever brother put me on a whole lot of different music so I mean it kind of broadened what I listened to in my own little style so it wasn't just a typical Bay Area music like genre or whatever it kind of had more of like a jazz vibe to it some soul music to it or whatever from there I mean throughout high school just kept working on my craft and meeting good artists and they kind of influenced more uh, my style like getting down and being able to be diversal you know with my stuff I just moving out of the box. I didn't want to just write the hip-hop music, so I got the little pop songs, I got the R&B songs in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, throughout college, just learning more of the craft, more engineering, more songwriting, more composing, everything. So, I mean, it's just been, you know, out and about since then. Yeah, we got good stuff. Now, uh, you've got a lot of experience. A lot of experience, uh, like you said, working with me, and on your own, going to school, you know, internships, the works. How has that helped you as an artist, engineer? How has that helped you, period, in this, uh, in this industry? I mean, it's probably just helped me most because I had to learn how to just adapt and grow as an artist. I can't just, you know, be comfortable in one genre. You have to be open to new stuff, like working in different genres and working with different artists and whatnot. Because everyone else got their own little vibe down. And I mean, writing for other people as well, I have to learn how to adapt to their style and make it, you know, make my lyrics match them as well as the production, you know. And then uh, you, you already know what you learn in school, you learn again through your experience, firsthand, uh, the industry's changing like probably every five to ten years, you know, along with technology. Uh, where do you see the industry going? changing minute by minute, but I mean, as far as the industry, like, it's beautiful for the independent artists right now, like, people on the mainstream just trying to figure out how to get to people, I mean, but people who've been on that independent hustle really know, like, you really have to be there communicating with your audience and really just be, uh, you know, be, have like a personal relationship with them, you can't just have like little bullshit messages here and there, like, you really need to hit them up on Twitter, you really need to be talking to them. Want to know who you are, or whatever. So you have to make yourself available. I think like the industry is just gonna move more on that route. Yo, still much time for the scenes like Kanye Duke and a nigga from the Bay really put it dude speed up to but just speed up for the bus. Plus, got straight black on the black and now. I'm in the shit now in the back and now. Since you fucked up, bro, got a happy ass when I first started rapping. I'm gonna get on my shows. No booby ass hoes, this is on my ears. No way in the pocket, no place to go. I ain't have a fucking choice. Yeah, money talks, my wallet ain't got a fucking. Dick. 
and make it rain and any bitches that clothes written. Long and loose changes, strippers, oh shit. Such a feeling of empowerment underground is a gift. Pulling rappers in the wood, ditch to the viral. Two independent mixtape albums with no interludes. Hello radio stations, bullshit interviews. This is just in high school, even had a video. Denim hit spiteful, still on my CD though. Snakes everywhere, I'm aware of what they do. From your music, you got the EP here, you know, you worked on mixtapes and everything else. What do you want people to, you know, come away with when they listen to Frozen's music? What, what message do you, you want to get out there to people? I mean, I want them to enjoy it just as much as I did making it, going through my own experiences. I want them to be able to sit back and really just feel what I'm talking about in these songs. Cause I mean, there's a little bit of everything on there. I don't just touch on the dance songs and party songs. I got a little conscious stuff too, talking about, you know, the anti-gun violence. The people doing a bit too much right now in the streets. I mean, it's just going a little too crazy. So I got the little anti-gun violence. I got stuff, you know, PSAs talking to women who've been raped and going through other serious ass like situations like that. You know, beyond just the pop music and the dance music. So I want them to really just sit down and be like, damn, dude's really dope with the lyrics. He really does think about what he says. I, you know, I hope. I pray that y'all spend just a little bit of time, take a listen to the meltdown, you know, get a better feel for your boy from the Bay Area, man. That's right. And he's not your typical Bay Area artist. This man got talent, versatile, can really spit. The man's got talent, lyrics. I'm talking mainstream crossover potential. But you hear on the radio right now. You hear it right in the background. All right, this is the man frozen right here. Now. We got the experience, we touched that, we set that. For a new artist coming into the game, what advice can you give them? Uh, man, you gotta just be uh, willing to take criticism, <laughs> really. Because I mean, if someone breaking down your song, like, you know, I think this part is dope, but you can improve on this section, you can't just be like butthurt about it. You really gotta just take the advice and try to run with it and improve yourself. I mean, that's your that's your audience right there, you know? So, I mean, you gotta be able to accept what they tell you, but I mean, just be open to work with different people, don't burn no bridges, keep the good relationships you got, and just like, really work with what you have. What makes them want to come to you, you know, as an artist? Why would they want to work with you? There's a million other people out there trying to rap, sing, whatever. It's true, it's a fact. So, I mean, what about you makes you original and makes them want to come to you? So, y'all work on that. Good advice. That's definitely good advice. And to add on to that, you can go to braintracksmusic.com. And that's tracks with an X again. Dot com. And go to the consultation page. And it's similar advice. This is what he gave you. Similar stuff on there. It's real talk. All right, chip off for that. And take it to heart.